everyone so for today's video long time no see i'm gonna be showing you a get ready with me i have just done this really simple light makeup look and then i've just shoved my hair up in a ponytail and i just thought i would talk you through what i'm doing it's an all drugstore makeup look as well except for one of the products um but obviously i'll explain why within the video it's not drugstore but yeah without further ado if you want to see how to just get this really basic makeup and hair look then just carry on watching so i've got a bit of a cold at the moment so if i do sniff for anything please excuse that but the first thing i'm going to do is just moisturize because my skin is really dry at the moment um i think it's just the winter makes my skin extremely dry so i'm just gonna pop that on everywhere especially on the forehead because the forehead is extremely extremely dry and if you're wondering why i'm looking in like a different direction all the time i'm looking to the viewfinder as i don't have a mirror in front of me so yeah, I did ask for questions um, for a Q&A, but I think I'm just going to do a separate Q&A because, I don't know, I find it really hard to answer questions whilst I'm doing my own thought, if that makes sense, like to do, like, answering questions whilst in the middle of a get ready thing. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. And then just going to apply some primer, and I just want to say this is all drugstore makeup products except one product. Um and I'll show you which product is when we get to it. Okay, I'm gonna take my Max Factor Face Infinity All Day Primer. Um, I quite like this. I mean, I'm not the world's biggest fan of it, but I like, because it's quite sticky. My makeup sticks onto it, so I just know it's not gonna budge. And I remember trying this years ago and absolutely hating it. And then I tried it again, and I quite liked it. So, yeah, I think it just depends what my skin thinks about it. Um, I have been using this for a while now and it just like it's really good in the summer actually because it has such a high SPF it has like 20 in it so it's quite good in the summer but obviously we're in the winter now so we're not too bothered about that okay so I'm then going to take my collection prime and ready correct and conceal palette and just use the green um, because like I said I have a couple of red spots and around my nose because I've got cold it's quite red at the moment so I thought I'd just apply a bit of this on just kind of calm it down I don't want to be looking really red all the time so I just use the little brush that it comes with and then I just take a bigger brush in a minute to blend it out because you'll be here forever trying to blend with this tiny little brush so I just take my Lottie London I think this is the flat concealer brush or something just to blend this out um, I'm not using a beauty blender today only because the foundation I'm using is quite light coverage and it's quite watery based so by adding the beauty blender it kind of takes away the coverage I guess so it's all brushes today which is quite unusual because I do like to use my beauty blender or I have like a makeup sponge from Nanchi which I've been loving using so yeah blend 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 also i don't know how many of you know um if you haven't seen my christmas hamper unboxing video then you probably wouldn't know but i'm actually on a new camera i sold my other camera my nikon cool Picks, and i bought on black friday the canon eos 700d and i got like this amazing kit so it comes with two lenses i'm not kidding the other lens is huge so i'm kind of using that so this is actually the second time i'm filming on this so if it goes out of focus or anything, I'm really sorry. I still haven't obviously had a chance really to film. I filmed that video the day I got it. Um, and then ever since that, I just haven't had time to film. Um, so yeah, if anything's not quite perfect yet, I'm really sorry. Um, so yeah, for foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable. So I love the full coverage one. I absolutely love it. Like It looks amazing. But I want something a little bit lighter as I've got my L'Oreal True Match and it's quite a full coverage. And also... In the morning before school, it's such a faff when I get like foundation all over my hand before applying it. So this one actually comes with like an applicator, which I think is really clever. Um, so I thought, well, I'm filming today, so for ease of that, I'm just gonna use this. So as you can see, you literally just pat it on with the spongy thing. I think it's really cool. So I'm just using the buffing brush. The better brush probably to use is the expert face brush, but mine is looking gross. And I did not want to show you that, so if I use this brush as, my brushes really do need to clean, that's something I will do before Christmas. Because <laughs> um, I think when you have dirty brushes, it does not help your skin whatsoever. Okay, I've zoomed you in a little bit closer. I think the foundation's blended. It's always quite difficult to tell if your foundation has blended when you're filming. 
So I'm then going to use the concealer which is from the collection palette that I used earlier for the green. Um, only because my lasting perfection has run out which is really sad. It's kind of like on its last leg so I need something that's still quite a full coverage. And I would say that if you can't get hold of the lasting perfection, use this. And great, my camera is flashing red. This is not what I signed up for. Okay, so my camera ran out. I'm on my smaller camera, so I'm literally just gonna pick up where I left off, and that was me applying some concealer. So I'm gonna take the Rimmel Wake Me Up underneath my eyes. I have a funny story. I thought this um, concealer had ran out, and I was like, oh, I don't have a concealer now. And then I pick it up, about to put it in a bin, use it, just to check, and it had actually loads left in it. So yeah, I thought I'd use it today, may as well. This is just a really good concealer to brighten up underneath your eyes, and I'm using the Nanshi Concealer Brush. Um, you would have seen that I got a load of Nanshi brushes in that hamper. I was very kindly sent, and I absolutely love them. I've been using everything. And I mean everything. I absolutely love these brushes. Okay, I'm gonna put some powder on. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is actually the Rita Aura um, one with that her packaging. Um, to be honest, the powder is still the same. It's just the different packaging. So I thought I'd just powder up really. And I love Rita Aura's music. So I was like, well, it's not costing me anymore to have her name on the packaging. So it's a good powder. This is just a translucent one because I never know what shade I need. So. It's always better just go for the clear one, hey? Okay, I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. So I'm gonna just start off by brushing them through. I'm gonna put a mirror on my lap as I need like a bit, to be a bit more up close almost, kind of just see what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Cause sometimes it's not very easy to see. And they've just been waxed like a couple of days ago now. So they're in a good shape for me to fill them in and my eyebrows are quite thick anyway it's just that I like to have them just a little bit more full coverage I mean they're not too bad it's just more on like the ends really okay so I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can also see what I'm doing so I'm just really quickly brushing through them as I have some product left in and all these little white pieces and then I'm gonna take the NYX tape Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Brunette, it's number three. Um, thanks to the lady in boots at the NYX counter who helped me decide which shade was best. Um, I do like this product, but it's very different to using a powder. With this, I feel like you have less control almost um, because you do just have to apply it and hope for the best. So yeah, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brow brush and I'm just gonna dip it in. Like I just dip it a little bit in and then just start applying and then all, always just go back if I need more. But I kind of just fill them into my shape. I don't like to overdraw them or anything like that. I kind of just like to fill where needed. The brows. And then this is the only not drugstore the only high-end product that i'm using um simply because i don't have a drugstore brow gel um because i have a sample of a benefit one i have a benefit one that i bought and then that's all i've got in terms of brow gels so i'm just going to be using my gimme brow and i literally use hardly any of this because obviously the pomade itself is quite sticky um but i just use a tiny bit of the front of the brow and then just work that product down to the end. It's kind of just more to really stick down those stubborn hairs that just don't like sticking down. Moving on, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I probably should use the mirror again for this because I'm so bad at doing things without looking. So I'm just going to curl them because I find that when I curl my eyelashes it always just looks better. These ones are just from Wilco's as my other ones broke. So I just bought some really basic ones I guess. I don't really feel the need to go and spend masses on an eyelash curler. Um, I don't use it every day but like with this mascara which is the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll as it isn't designed for curl it's designed for volume and length I feel like I do need to curl them if I want that bit of curl. Camera do you want to focus today? Thank you very much. 
so weird because I never used to buy any makeup from L'Oreal and then I went and bought the mascara and the foundation. Now they're like two of my favourite products ever. But if you know me, I hate applying mascara onto my bottom lashes. It just really irritates me. So I don't do that. Um, instead, what I do to kind of make them look a bit bigger is just use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and just line my waterline. You have to be very clever and careful when doing this. Because when I started doing this, I started getting like all the white kind of like within my eyelashes. So you kind of just have to really reach that waterline. So this can be so interesting. I'm trying to do it using my viewfinder. So as you can see, like it just makes your eye just look more awake. Um, not necessarily bigger, but just awake. Um, if you've got a nude kind of colour, that probably would work better. But I only have white, so that's what we're using at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to finish off this makeup by just taking my Fab Contour Kit. And I'm actually just going to use the highlighter. It's not very shimmery, but it kind of just adds a nice glow. As you can see, it's just a really light shade. Um, and it kind of just works best just for brightening, really, rather than more like highlighting. Um, so I'm just using my Nanchi fan brush and I'm just applying this onto the cheeks. As you can, like I said, it's not like a sparkly, glittery highlighter. It's more just like to brighten. Complete. Like I said, it's really, really light coverage, really natural, just really basic. As that's kind of the look I've been going for. And also, like today, I'm just filming videos, so I didn't want to do something too fancy. As I'm not going out anywhere or anything. Where these tiny hoop earrings are from? These like nine millimeter hoops. And um, they came in a two pack from ASOS. You get the silver and then the gold. I've literally been wearing these non-stop because I can get away with them at school. Um, so I absolutely love them. They're tiny. My hair looks gross right now because I haven't done anything to it. Um, but last night I kind of just left my hair in a Dutch one plait thing. So it's kind of got a little bit of a wave to it this morning. Um, not too much. But I'm just going to spray some dry shampoo and I'm just going to tie it up. Dry shampoo that I'm using, if you're wondering, is the Colab Dry Shampoo in Tropical. <laughs> And then I'm just going to brush through my hair um, because it's so knotty right now. It's obviously, it was in a braid last night. This is going to make it go really fluffy. But I can straighten it or do whatever needs to be done. I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a massive thumbs up. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below too. I'm also currently running a giveaway over on my Instagram that ends on Christmas Day where you guys can win some stationery that I have myself so we can be matching twins. So if you haven't already entered then I will leave a link down below to the post where you can go and enter and you can be within the chance of winning. And yeah, I hope to see you all very soon. Bye!